Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in today to The Restaurant Show. And you know what, it's that time of year when the weather is fantastic outside. There's always some great outdoor parties to go to, tailgating, um, the local farmers markets, lots of things going on in the low country. And so today we have some guests coming on. We have Chef Paul from Panini's showing us what's going on in the local markets. Um, some of the great sustainable food that you can get right here in the Lowcountry. And then after that, we are actually going to visit right down the street from them is the Sea Eagle Food Market. And um, they are going to be showing us some of the great shrimp that's available this time of year. And uh, we're going to finish up with One Hot Mamas and we're going to show you all about what we have to offer for catering uh, in the fall. So please stay tuned. We've got a lot of great eating ahead. Welcome back, everyone, and we have our next guest is fantastic. It is Chef Paul Danella from Panini's on the Waterfront, right down there in historic uh, downtown Beaufort. And um, looks like you bought a basket full of goodies today. I did. I, I, did. <laughs> I love it. You were grocery shopping with your local basket and <laughs> carrying it all in. I love it. Uh, we just wanted to highlight today some products. Uh, summer's over. Right, um, right, right. A lot of, uh, before we get into our winter crops of produce, we're kind of done for a while. Yeah, There's a few absolutely. things here and there, but overall our tomatoes are done, our summer squashes are done, right. eggplant. So in the meantime, there's a lot of products you can get from South Carolina year round. Okay. And we just wanted to highlight a few of those yeah. things here okay. today. And a lot of these you're getting from um, the, the Beaufort area, Charleston. Right. Where, and the cool your, thing is actually, yeah. to be honest with you, um, good purveyors like Cisco and U.S. Foods right. actually provide us with lists specialized oh, for okay. statewide products right. so we can keep our fresh on the menu status. Yep, they yes. actually are really helpful with yes, that. Yes, absolutely. Um, now an example of a local. Okay. These Look at those eggs. are actually those are gorgeous. right from St. Helena. Oh, um, I love it. Miss Kappelman at Yard Farms. Love it. She does fresh chicken eggs, quail oh. eggs. She also does chickens and quail year round. And we're and you can and you guys buy this obviously for the restaurant, but you can buy these from you her get, as a you as can just get them a, directly from her. Just a regular person Absolutely. walking up and you just you can go directly to her or catch her at a farmers market in Port Royal on Saturday. Farmers market, and okay, I believe she does the Bluffton one too. Oh, fantastic! So you can do either way. You, you'll be able to get beautiful eggs like this um, at the farmers market, or you guys are using them at the restaurant. So yep. Great. Okay. All right. I love those. So pretty. Um, now an example of something we actually get through U.S. Foods. Right. This is Hickory Hill milk. Okay. It comes from Edgefield, South Carolina. Oh, okay, yeah, right there. Yeah, I love it. It is delicious. And actually, I don't like almond milk. Right. I don't like silk. Right. But I can drink this, and I can't usually drink regular milk. I love it. Now, I don't know if it's the fact that it's non-homogenized. Okay. It is pasteurized. It has to be. But okay. it is delicious. That is fantastic. And, um... Again, another South Carolina grown Correct. item. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna And you can some. actually find that in some Piggly Wigglies. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, so your local markets, your local markets, not necessarily the big, huge chain markets. Right. But, um, but, uh, pig, South Carolina. The, yeah, I know. <laughs> You're right. I love the pig. Um, <laughs> another example here, and because I get them in 50 pound bags, I didn't yes. bring the whole bag. Yes. <laughs> But this is uh, Abdullah Gritz. Yes, um, and I know you've used, you've mentioned Abdullah in, in the past. It's huge milling company, used. Allen yeah. Brothers. Can we open that up? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, they're out of Columbia. They do white and yellow stone ground grits. Oh, I love it. And uh, unless you like your grits instant, this is oh, the way to go. Oh, look at that. This is a slow process that so you're going to cook this off at, You're looking right? at 45 minutes to an right. hour. Right, and Depending stirring. on the size of the batch you do, yeah. And stirring. You have to keep stirring those grits. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And that is out of South Carolina. Correct. Is that correct? Yeah. These are all things you can get year-round. And you can get this actually at any of the grocers. I've Correct. seen it. They, now That's they don't almost have, at all stores. They don't have a full line of all their beautiful no. things, but they definitely have the grits they there. They definitely yeah. have them. And they don't, you don't have to buy a 50-pound bag. <laughs> you can just buy like a one-pound bag. <laughs> um, another example of something you get year-round? I love Something you might be mix. interested in? Yeah, I love this mix. And uh, I actually just bought this the other day. It's fantastic. Uh, this is more of like a steak sauce kind of Bloody yeah, Mary mix. It it's is. got that good flavor. Yeah. Uh, direct from Charleston. Uh, we use it at our Bloody Mary bar every Sunday with brunch. Tell us a little bit about that Bloody Mary bar. Uh, I'm just going to show this to you. We have a full array of about 15 different items we put out there for you to concoct your own menagerie of a Bloody okay. Mary. So if I am doing um, the Bloody Mary bar, so I say to your server, I'll, I'll go do the Bloody Mary bar. So what do you, how does that work? You go right up to the side of the bar, you pick your mix. We offer three different Bloody Mary mixes, nice, of which nice. this is one. Right. Uh, there's smoked meats, cheeses, so you just pickled vegetables we do in-house, green beans, uh, I asparagus. I love it. And you just put whatever you want whatever in it. Whatever you want in it. And then there. you choose your vodka, I'm guessing, and then. Right, just, and they mix it up for you. And speaking of like I pickled vegetables yeah. at Bloody Mary Bar, here's something you can do in the summertime when you have an abundance of tomatoes, especially okay. green tomatoes. Okay. 
regular pickling spices, just like you would do with cucumbers to make pickles. Right. These are just pickled whole green tomatoes. So you would drop them whole and then... You'd put them in the pickling brine right. hot, can them in a big jar. We right. use gallon uh, you have, olive yeah, jars that we right, have right, on right. hand left over. Seal them up, let them sit for about a month, and they're good to go. And then you can turn that um, into all kinds of it. Like I know you had chow chow on your make chow chow with it. You, you could actually take them, slice them, give them a quick little rinse and pat right. dry, and you could fry them up, and you can have fried green tomatoes fried year round. Fried green tomato, <laughs> and then fried green tomato sandwich. Um, <laughs> fried green tomato. Same thing salad. with other summer vegetables: squashes, zucchini. Yeah. You can make relishes and pickle and can those. And can those, and this is a great way. And like Chef was saying, this is end of summer. This is a great way to really preserve. All those Especially if you have a home garden. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Or if you like going to the farmer's market and you want to get those things and Load maybe up. you don't get to cook it right away, yeah. Or you have sites of wanting to cook it, you're like, I'm going to get that and I'm going to cook it. And you're like, oh, there's I no need to throw it, it out. Yeah. No need to throw it out. Not that I've done that before. <laughs> um, and then coming up this time of year, um, actually all year, right. I think we've done these before. Yeah, we yeah. You get yeah. the local Buford clams. You did it in that. And actually, I had this at one of the festivals. Um, you did the with the pasta. Taste of Buford, right. So good. And this is another thing you can get year-round, actually, unlike right. oysters, which are now actually back in season. Okay, yep, that's right. That's which right. are coming up. The same company we get our oysters from, they provide clams year-round. Oh, my gosh. And they're Buford shellfish, and yeah. uh, you can catch them at the Bluffton Farmer's Market any the Saturday. The Bluffton Mar Farmer's Market definitely has a lot going on there, a lot of different things, and they're very particular. Port Royal has a great one, too, right, yep. at, right at the... Um, it's right there by the Navy Hospital. Is that where they do it? Correct. Okay, yeah, that's up there. That's right by the skate park. Yep, by the skate park, so bring your board. <laughs> um, and last but not least. Yes, last but not least. <laughs> shrimp season is in full effect yes. here in Beaufort. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, we actually get these from a local fella who does all his own shrimping. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at those. And this is, um, now the festivals, you know, festivals in uh, Beaufort are fantastic. We just talked about those taste right. of the shrimp festival. Shrimp festival is coming up. Yep. You guys, I'm sure, are so busy. When it, <laughs> it, it is full on. Uh, <laughs> It's pretty intense. Now, when you buy um, shrimp like this, uh, and I know we're starting to run out of time, but you can get them head on, tail. Well, right? I get mine at a good price. They come in head on. Head on. Completely you clean them all we clean up. them up. But you can also buy them. Um, just you like can this. find them this time of year. Seagull sea keeps them in oh, good yeah. supply. Absolutely. They do a great job, and he he's, does a fantastic job with all his fresh items. And actually, even after shrimping season is over, if you don't buy enough to freeze and keep in your freezer, right. if you look, certain places have what's called uh, Carolina Coast Shrimp. Okay. Basically, it's all the way from the coast of North Carolina down to Georgia, but at least it'll be the closest thing to local yes, shrimp you can it, get. And it will be local. Well, thank you so much, Chef. No and problem. I love the lessons of all the great local things that we have going on. And of course, check them out, Panini's on the waterfront, and that outdoor deck is a place to be this October. Yes. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. Thank you so much, Chef Paul, for showing us what's available at these great local farmers markets. And of course, you mentioned Sea Eagle. They're coming up next, and they're gonna show us their caterings for Low Country Boil. Hey everyone, welcome back. And I know we were just talking shrimp with Panini's, but look who's here, Seagull Market. We were just talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> we planned that one well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and we are talking about shrimp. Right. What perfect person to go to, but Captain uh, Craig Reeves from the CEO Market to show us uh, actually one of your specialties, right? Absolutely. All right. Our low country boil. And everyone has had a low country boil, I think, in the past. But this is a true low country boil, and I love this. I do. So tell me a little bit about how you guys do it, because I know you do this for catering a lot. Uh, absolutely. It's probably okay. our number one thing we do, catering. The purple mash bags allows us to have portion control as right. we're going, so the stuff will come out fresh and hot, not just all at one all time, at one time and right. then sit around and get cold. And everyone then picks through. Mm -hmm. This really lets everyone know exactly what they're getting. Right. And if the sausage is running low, then we're going to be able to reload your sausage, yeah. your corn, potatoes, shrimp. Okay, so what, actually, let's show what goes into a low country boil for those of the, you who right. haven't well, ever had one. Well, of course, this is fresh corn. Okay. Red potatoes. Red potatoes, key there is mm -hmm. the red potatoes. Sweet, and then we have some beef sausage. Mm. A lot of times we do andouille. Yeah, just for that little bit of a kick. So absolutely. And of course. The shrimp. The shrimp. And now, what kind of, what's, because that is not just water. We're not just boiling this in seasoned water. This is, I mean, the smell is, is delicious. Right. Well, it starts with regular water. With just, it starts, <laughs> everything starts with just regular water. <laughs> yeah. So then we're going to add our Yeah, spice. let me show this, which I know you've showed this before, but this is the key 
to this low country boil is the it's the garlic Seagull Market garlic seasoning. Right, we have a spicy and we also have it in the regular. But so we'll start our pot with that and just add a and little bit more. Right, and that's what you already put these this uh, in. Yes, ma'am. And I like to do the corn, potatoes, and sausage together. That's gonna yes. cook about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. So your sausage oil, the little butter, yeah. little season, yeah. all is cooking together. So uh, the last thing you want to do is your shrimp. Because you don't want it to get rubbery. You don't want it, it's not going to take the same amount of time as this takes to this, cook. Yeah, and, and it's a two minute process. Right, so right. So local shrimp, hot water, two minutes. Two minutes, I love it. And now right now we've got a low a low boil going on right there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get the camera to get a picture of it. But um, because if you don't, if it's not boiling, yeah, I would like a, a really uh, rapid boil. Yeah. And basically, I cut the heat off and stir for two minutes. Okay, so once you get to, because we're almost there, we're almost to that rapid mm -hmm. boil, that's when then you would put the you, shrimp in. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, then cut and off you the really heat. can cut the heat off. Right. For the sake of the time today, we probably won't, but but you can absolutely cut your heat off and stir two minutes and it's going to be And the shrimp perfect. will be done. And now this is, a what size count is this shrimp about? Those are 3140. 3140. So depending on what kind of party you're having, you might want to have bigger shrimp, but mm -hmm. I think this is a nice size, especially if you have a lot of people, because then you can feed a lot more people. Right. Is that right? And it's the most common size for low country bull. A size larger would be 2630. And those are big. Or the jumbos would be yeah. 21, 20. Um, one other question with this, can I do it with the heads on? With the shrimp? Absolutely. I like it with the heads on. I, I do too, it adds flavor. <laughs> we and, eat alike, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and I do want to point out that this is not your typical what you would cook a low country boil in. How big is the pot that really we should be cooking this in? Um, well, it's according <laughs> to how many people you're okay. feeding, but it's a lot larger. It's a lot larger. And when you do this for parties, um, because you do do this as a catering package, mm -hmm. um, and you can call a, uh, and find out, you know, depending on how many people you have and how the pricing is, you tell us, you come out there mm -hmm. and you'll we'll bring the on, big pots in. We cook it on site. Cooking on site, which is such a great part of a party, I think. That's mm -hmm. part of the entertainment of it and seeing how low country boil is done. Because a lot of people haven't done a low country boil themselves, right. I think. I, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I'll take some shrimp and sausage. It's like, no, there's like a whole, whole it's, it's thing to whole it. It's the whole package. <laughs> it's the ambiance of it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're gonna get this going. Oh, and this is nice. A, a nice bowl um, is a way to serve it or just on the- um, On a table. On, on a table with newspaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so there's the potatoes and then the corn, and this, you just open the bags right up. Mm -hmm. I love it, that is good stuff. And then of course that sausage. Mm -hmm. That is great, and then now the shrimp, shrimp, obviously you can see, oh, I mean if I have to eat yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that for me, thank you. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> this is good, and sometimes you said you use andouille, just to give uh, a little bit of a kick. Oh yeah. But you don't have to have andouille. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, that is good. So you get a little bit of everything. You get your meat, your potatoes, your vegetable, mm -hmm. and of course your wonderful seafood. How are we coming along? What's the color that we should be looking for? Well, we want a nice bright pink. Mm -hmm. And it's we're, almost there. Or is yeah, that? We're really. We're almost really, close yeah, we're really to it. There. Let's see that. Let's um. And so is this how you would serve it at a party, or would you? Everyone would have to go through. It's it's really according to the event. If okay. it's a wedding, they may have a specific way they want it done. You know, you, it's kind you of go. an in thing right now for weddings and rehearsal dinners to have the low country boil because it's very welcoming to the area. When it's you're at the wedding, it's, yeah. it's the bride and the bride's mother's way. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not my way. It's whatever, this is true. Whatever they say goes. This so. is also wedding 101 show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, you've worked with them. You know how it is. <laughs> Now that's a lot of shrimp. I love it. Oh, and you still put a little bit of that oh, seasoning yeah, on there? Of course. It. It's a little, little And now um, it's October. It's also oyster season. And tell me how about getting um, oysters from y'all. And okay. if you do oyster roasts too. We do. We, um, we do our $10 oyster roast oh, for 25 David, people. You have to more. have 25 people. That's the minimum. Or eat 25 people's worth of oysters. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's. That's a pretty good deal. And um, so we just call, we set that up with you, whether it's a low country boil or an oyster roast. And the oyster roast, and I know we've talked about this way back when because it, you know, summertime passed and it's not oyster season, but you'll actually set it up and 
do I have to shuck or you'll have somebody well, to help me? You, you get a shuck your own oysters, but we pretty much do everything else. Everything else. You'll cook them, you'll clean them all up before, because that's the hard part is getting them cleaned off and dropping them. And They're clean, we cook them, we bring the tables, the knives, everything, you shell can't go removal. Wrong. Yeah, that's, oh, and you take the shell. That's the part I always mess up. I'm like, oh, I gotta take them back to the, because <laughs> you can't just throw those away. We replant them. I love them. All right, well, awesome. So definitely this fall, this October, this shrimp festival season, make sure you keep Sea Eagle Market in mind and um, for your catering needs, especially. Yeah, come see us at the shrimp yeah, festival. Yeah, and come we'll see them. We'll have a booth right on the waterfront. We'll have a shrimp boat down there, take a tour. Oh, I love, oh, tours on the shrimp boat? Oh yeah. Love it, all right. We'll keep them in mind. Thank you, Captain Craig. Thank and we'll you. be back in just a moment. Thank you, Craig, for showing us that awesome low country boil. Love it. Remember, you guys, they do a great job catering. And up next, we have One Hot Mamas, and we're going to talk about party platters and some great barbecue packages. Welcome back, everyone. And uh, I have Justin here with me from One Hot Mamas. And uh, Justin just came up on as the assistant catering manager. Okay. So yes. congratulations. Thank you. I'm very thankful that you're aboard as the <laughs> assistant catering manager. Um, so tell me, what do we have here today? What are we talking about as far as with catering? We're going to talk about everything that we offer at the restaurant. OK. Um, everything cool. from our party packages to our um, tailgate to go okay. options everything well, let's open this up because yeah, I, yeah. I want I like I know there's some deliciousness going on I can smell there. it now yeah I know right okay so this is oh my god that looks so good Justin tell me what this is this is our wing and spinach dip platter okay um, it's great for tailgating you can do yeah. it for parties if you um, anything uh, I already actually have already sold a couple of them for the um, Football. For yeah, the, for football games, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I tell you what, even if it's not a football game or whatever, but um, if you walk in with this platter, you are going to be so popular. Oh, you're and gonna, you'll they're going to love you. And probably get asked back to every other party after that, as long as you bring the platter. But now tell me about, the. obviously this is the wings, mm -hmm. and what flavors are we looking at here? Because these all look delicious. Oh, we've got a bunch. We're going to start off with our buffalo sauce, just mm -hmm. your regular buffalo, mm -hmm. but we fry it. Then we also have our grilled wings. We have our hot Asian and we have our Maui Wai, which are definitely our top sellers yes. at the restaurant. And award winners. Award winners. This they win one, wing, yeah. one wing fest. Yeah. Hot Asian, four wing fests in a row. So you definitely have to order those. Even if you don't get a party platter, yeah. you know, get it at the restaurant. But and they do have some heat, yeah. but you're going to need something that's going to cool off your mouth a little bit. We have the garlic parmesan for that. Right. And then, of course, the GW's little, mustard gold. Which, you know, GW's gold, you know, we came up with about 10 years ago mm -hmm. to go with the barbecue. Yes. And then people start asking where to get on the wings. So, mm -hmm. I mean, and it's really become a popular one. Yep. And then, of course, the spinach dip. Now, this is a hot spinach dip, though, right? Yeah, we serve it warm. Not spicy hot, not just, hot. but it's it's right. a it's not a cold spinach dip. Right. So, um, that's some delicious. And then we have uh, the uh, pitas and the tortilla chips. Tortilla chips, chips I yeah. love it. This is such a great platter. Um, and just, you know, we really only need, I mean, you can call us that afternoon and yeah. we can make it up for Put you. Together. That's not yeah. a problem at all. Or if you want, call Justin yeah. um, at the restaurant and he can plan it for you ahead of time. But exactly. even more importantly, if you have more events coming up, you're the one to call. So yes. show us what is the most popular, the most common thing that Our most want. common thing we do, our pulled pork oh, package. Yeah. Okay, great, let's let's do this. And with the package, it it starts off at $11 per person. Okay. It's gonna come with our pulled pork, you get two side dishes. Plates Today I up. brought- Yeah, let's plate I it up. I brought our mac and cheese and coleslaw. All Let right. me grab. Yeah, definitely. Start off by putting a little bit of our so, panko yeah, breading on it. Yeah, we put the um, crunch, we, what we do is we butter some panko breadcrumbs and we'll put that nice little crunch on top of it with the macaroni and cheese. And um, you know, what we have set up here is we actually, I mean, that's our shape, those are our shaving dishes mm -hmm. here. I'm gonna give you a spoon to start making a plate here. I love it. Um, now, so you're saying that these, this is your typical and most popular items yes. that people ask yes. for. Yes. Okay, so. Our I'm, mac and cheese is definitely the number one selling side dish. Side dish, yeah. And coleslaw. Coleslaw. And what else? Baked beans. Baked beans. It, a lot of it because it goes, those are like the staples of right. barbecue. And at a party, so I think when people are coming to your house right. or whatnot, or maybe you're going to a party, those are the things you're looking for. And then what's this with the meat? What kind We've of got our pulled pork here. Okay, what other choices is there for You meats? can do anything. We can do brisket, we can do ribs, we can do Excellent. the rib tips, we have barbecue chicken, you can do fried chicken. Yeah, I love it. And you can, we, do, we have different packages. Oh, so you can put it all, you can mix and match. You and can I do know anything a lot of, yeah, you want. And I know a lot of people call you, they're like, can you tell us all of the sides? It's like, sure, we'll, we'll we do whatever have, you want. We have over 15 side dishes yeah, so. that you can choose from. <laughs> Excellent. And now, of course, things like this, if you have a big party, because I, 10, you have to have at least 10 people, right, yes. in order to get the package yeah. deal. Um, that is something 
that we should do in advance, right? Yes. How long in advance do you think is, is good for you, since you're the one putting it all if together? If you give me three days at the most, just in, if it's that's if you have a, a, a big, large big party, party. Right, so that way right, I can right, make right. sure that we have enough food in the restaurant. Right, because we but smoke it. But other than that, if, it, if it's just 10, 10 15, 20 yeah. people, we have that available okay, every day. Good, and we good. can do that, put that together so for we you. So we can put that together pretty quickly. It's just the bigger parties, and lately we've been getting a lot of big parties. Yeah. I mean, we do caterings for 100, 150. We mm -hmm. actually have some coming up. Yes. And now those are things that we definitely have to know about in advance. And um, here, I'm going to start cutting this up. Yeah. And what is... This Tell is everybody a, what this, this is. This is our honey jalapeno cornbread. Love it. And we serve this at the restaurant with every platter. Mm -hmm. um, it's cooked fresh every day. Yes. And right before it comes out to the table, we drizzle a little bit of honey on yeah, top of it. Let's put that honey on it. And you get this with the catering package. Yes. So this it's exactly included. what you would yep. get at the restaurant. Yeah. Okay, yep. gotcha. Now that is delicious. If I was able to get this at a party, I would be very, very happy. All right, so then you lay it out. Now, tell me a little bit about because obviously you can come and pick it up. Yeah. You can pick it up. What are the different things that One Hot Mamas can do for you that you can help them with? If you want to pick it up, that's great. We'll make sure that it's ready at the time that you request. Right. If um, we deliver it, if that's easier for you, we can deliver it. We can also do a setup, which you're going to get your shaping dish, and we'll have everything put in place for you. With and the stir so that way. And everything yes. will stay hot for you. And then we also have our full service package, and we'll send servers, and we'll we'll stay at your event until the food's done, okay. and tear everything down and clean everything up for you. Okay. So that way, you're free to interact with your guests. You yes. don't have to do anything. Instead of being stuck there, yes. um, cleaning and everything like that, we will come and do that for you. Most likely, it'll be Justin. I might even show up if you let me know if you want me to be there, and I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll help out. I'll I'll be more than happy to serve. But um, but definitely, this is a great party platter right here. And this is, I mean, this is a this is a normal size serving, mm -hmm. um, and this starts. At eleven dollars per person. Eleven dollars per person. Um, and if you get brisket or or you do two meats, yeah. then the prices go up yeah. from there. Yeah. Okay. And um, product, paper product. Does it come with it? it upon request, we do offer it. We do okay. have the silverware packages. Yeah. Which let's you saw show earlier. them what the silverware packet looks like. I know we opened one of them up. So We've you will it. actually get the plate. And the silverware packet. You got salt and pepper napkins. You got your fork, knife, spoon, and then we've got the the plates here for you. I love it. I mean, this makes it this makes entertaining yeah. really easy. Yeah. Um, and of course, like we said, you don't have to go as far as the chafing dishes and all that good stuff. But it's a good way mm -hmm. um, to have it set up for you and not have to worry about anything. Exactly. All right. So great. So Justin, uh, make sure you guys, if you are having a party and it's uh, coming up. Give Justin a call. Yes, <laughs> He'll be able to put together any kind of proposal for you. Yes. Um, and I think we do everything, you know, via email, come in, text, we don't I'll care, text whatever. You, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Whatever you're more comfortable yes, with. Yes, whatever you want to do, right? And of course, um, it's on our website also. Yes. Yes. So check it out. And uh, remember, keep one hot mamas in mind. Thank you, Justin, for sharing everything with us. Me. I might have to dip it in that plate. Yes, please do. Right after the wings. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in just a moment. Thank you so much, y'all, for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit about what's out there as far as the local farmers markets. Um, you know, Chef Paul showed us some great eggs and shrimp, and the shrimp from Sea Eagle. Make sure you visit them and check out their Low Country Boil and some of the fresh fish and shrimp that's coming right off those boats. And then, of course, thanks to One Hot Mamas and Justin and sharing with us what they have to offer for great parties um, in the fall, whether it's barbecue, pig roast, or just a good old tailgating platter. And just remember, guys, always have fun eating your way through the Low Country.